the program coordinator for the precision machining department. I've been here about 10 years and I've got about a total of 40 years of industry experience. We bring the people in, we train them from the ground up, we start on basic machines, teach them how to measure with precision instruments, teach them how to do layout work, then we teach them the manual machines. Some people think, well, that's the older technology, we're not really interested in that. But there we're teaching them the principles of how things work and why you do what you do. Uh, my name is Eric Moore here at Metropolitan Community College. I'm the lab technician in our SIM department, the Computer Integrated Machining and Manufacturing. Here in this facility, we, uh, we work here at the ATSI, Advanced Technical Skills Institute, and the purpose of this building is for trade skills. Um, so in SIM, you're talking about bridge port mills, CNC machines, all, all of the stuff that you're gonna find in a manufacturing environment. Probably once or twice a week, I get something saying, hey, have you got any help? I need more help. I need more people. We actually train the people and then we put them out in paid internships. And so we set the students up with those paid internships among our business partners. And that virtually always leads to a permanent job position if the student wants it. So my name is Tyler Nudley, um, and I started or took the program because I wanted to get into uh, manufacturing of drone related products. And when I saw that there was a program available through MCC, Computer Integrated Machining and Manufacturing Program, and it was starting, it just prompted me just to jump in. And Department Chair David, he actually uh, reached, reached out to a lot of the manufacturers to see what they were actually using in industry being able to relate and use that product to teach the students in the same machines that we would be using. With the, the program here, I was able to get a job uh, in industry and, and use actually Akuma Lades uh, to do that. So um, having that hands-on and, and learning is gonna help me do what I wanna do in the future. It was an internship at first for a couple weeks and then they hired me on as an apprentice. It's amazing, like it, put me straight into the company and I knew exactly how to run the machine and it was nice. Most of us who are highly skilled and highly experienced are old guys like me who are either retiring or dying. And it's leaving a huge gap behind us where for so long people have been pushed into other careers. So now that the older generation is moving on, we need the young people to come in and follow us up. The other aspect of that is, since we're bringing so many jobs back from foreign countries, we are needing more and more people to do the work here in America. Uh, my name is Lee Biermeyer, and I do the tool and die apprenticeship program here. I knew growing up that I didn't really want to be at a desk. I think it was something that I just knew. We had three tool and die guys at our work one has 40 years, one has 30 years, and one has 20 years. They're all getting ready to retire. They posted a job for an apprentice and I put in for it and got it. Changed a lot about me. It's changed my way of thinking and my, my drive to do things. All of it has changed. Well, our business partners have certainly enjoyed the fact that we are training on stuff like the, the same things that they're using, same software, same brands that they're using. That's one of the reasons they like having our students so well is they are ready to go. Now as we're getting into the more advanced equipment, we've got the new five axis, two of them, we've got the horizontal over there, um, we've got the machine that's got the probes and it's got the automatic door and the automatic vise so that someday we hope to get into robotics with the, with the machining. I think that's important because advanced manufacturing is just that. You've got to stay on the, on the cutting edge. It's got to be the latest stuff. So we need to have the best, we need to have the latest, and then we need to be training the students on that so they're ready to go out and be as highly productive as they can be. When we decided we needed to up our game and start getting the latest equipment instead of the oldest equipment, and the school agreed that we needed to upgrade, and we solicited bids from, I think, 15 to 20 companies, but Hartwig won the bid and I was thrilled because I know that this equipment's good stuff. Hartwig's been a good partner there. They send people over to help with training. 
we buy new equipment, they come show us all the bells and whistles. Uh, everybody there has been great to work with. So I think it's, it's great for us. It's great for Hartwig. It's great for the students. It's great for the businesses. There's no loser in the process. Everybody's winning in the process.